You know what's really hard to do? Full water side wraps. You know what I'm not good at? Full water side wraps. But you know what I can do? Half water side wraps. And that's like good enough, right? Because the other half can be glitter. And it'll be really pretty. I needed something to do for you guys today because it has been kind of like a longer gap than what I would normally take for uh, my last video to my newest one. But I took a couple of days off. I mentioned in my last video, my arthritis was killing me and it did kill me for about a couple of days, but I am back. I am revived. I feel great. I have monster coffee, so I'm good to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Courtney with Courtney's Customs. And today, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a half water slide on a 30 ounce skinny from Maker Flow Crafts. And I will have my link in the description for the wonderful Maker Flow. And I painted this white. Um, it's just a flat white from Rust-Oleum. And I wanted to do something like beachy themed because if you guys haven't seen, you can look up tutorials on it. Um, I would post a tutorial on it myself, but it doesn't really go with everything else that I do. And I don't want to like confuse people um, that are not a regular viewer of my channel and be like, I don't know what she's about. So I'm like super amped up on this monster coffee. <laughs> it's a good day. So um, anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to get super off track. I feel like a lot today. Um, you can change like the um, buttons on your iPhone, like the your messages and your text and your email, like all those little icons. And I made mine really, really beachy themed yesterday because I'm over this cold weather. It kills my arthritis and my bones and everything. It hurts. I'm over it. So I changed everything really beachy and then I wanted to make a beachy cup. So I found this picture on um, Facebook. I think it was Tumblr Hacks 101. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, somebody had got on there and posted um, a question for like advice on a cup and somebody, I don't know who it was, posted this picture and they was like, oh, maybe you should try this one or like use the colors for inspiration or something. And I was like, that's a pretty picture. And I saved it and I turned it into a water slide. So if you're watching, if you're the one who posted this picture, thank you. I love you. I don't know who you are, but I love you because look. It's like a glittery beach. That's gorgeous. That is stunning. So I'm going to make a tumbler with this picture on it. Um, I could not for the life of me get it sized good enough to do a full water slide wrap. And I'm not good at those anyway. So I'm going to do half, which this is, this is, I think this is pretty much half of the 30 ounce skinny. And then I'm going to do the other half, just a full glitter. Um, I might put some vinyl stripes on there, like to separate the glitter and the image. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, I'm really wanting to post a video today. I know it's kind of like rushy, but, um, if it's not perfect, at least y'all can get some inspiration. Blah, I almost messed up that word. Some inspiration, um, from what I'm doing today. So let's get started. All right. So I have my image cut out here and, um, notice it's not perfect. There are some white spaces down here. Not worried about it at all because this is a clear water slide. So all of this white, you're not going to be able to see. So, and I know you all are going to complain because <laughs> you guys keep telling me, get a bigger Tupperware. And I just don't think about it. I swear there's literally something wrong with my memory because <laughs> I, I can do this right now. Okay. And then go in the house and be like, I need a, I need a bigger Tupperware. I need to throw this one away and just grab the biggest one I have, tell my husband to um, just buy another one for the house. And I'll go in there and I won't do it. <laughs> I literally will forget and I'll come out here and do another video with a large water slide one day and be like, I need a bigger Tupperware. And it, it's just, it's just gonna repeat. So I'm just gonna do this little number right here until <laughs> the whole thing's ready. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll have a large Tupperware. Alright, this seems to be good enough. And I'm going to show 
show you guys something that I like to do with my really big water slides like this. Um, I mean, it's not huge. It's not like a full wrap or anything, but it's big to me. And I pretty much treat it like a tattoo. Um, if you guys have not seen my tattoo tumblers before, go check it out. But yeah, I pretty much like to treat this like a tattoo and lay it down straight. Of course, not like I just did. Lay it down good and straight. Now apply some pressure, get it adhered to the cup a little bit. And then I will come over here, grab a corner of it very, very gently. And peel the backing off. you can still get your hand wet and kind of pull it around <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and I actually like to use my finger with these really big water slides um, instead of my squeegee I love my squeegee and I like it for the smaller water slides but for these really big ones I just get my finger wet and work out the bubbles and the wrinkles just make sure your hands wet when you do this because if it's the slightest bit dry um, you are going to rip and pull your water slide to pieces So this is what I have thus far, and it's not like completely perfect, but I feel like there's so much going on, um, you really can't notice that there might be a wrinkle here and there. I think I'm my own worst critic anyway, and everything that I do, I'm like, oh, it's terrible, everybody else is better. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta just have a little bit of confidence, <clears throat> excuse me, believe in myself a little bit. Who knows? I might even do better. I think it's pretty. I think it's very pretty. So I am going to do the rest of it glitter back here. And I know that I have a lot hanging over right here. But I feel like once that's epoxied, I'll be able to exact a knife that off from around the top. That's really, really pretty. And I wanted to tell you guys too, um, last year, early last year before this whole, where do I want to put that? Where's my little thing in my ball? There it is before this whole pandemic stuff started um i was supposed to be a vendor at a trade days show and it got canceled because of covid and i got a letter in the mail today i guess they're going to start it back up this year hopefully in april um so and they they still want me to be a vendor they sent me my vendor spot tickets um a sticker to go on my windshield and all that good stuff so yay so this is probably going to be the first tumbler that I make for my vendor show. You guys should come out and see me. So I'm going to let this dry and then show you all the glitter I'm going to be putting on the back. So for the glitter I took some acrylic paint and just kind of um, quickly painted the blank spots. But look how pretty that turned out. I'm actually pretty proud. Pretty proud of that. So the glitter I'm going to put on the back here, of course, is from the Glitter Grind. And I'll make sure to have my link in the description for them. But this is called Passion. It is a very pretty um, holographic chunky mix. And I think it will go good with the colors here. 
So I'm gonna apply it with Mod Podge, which I have to go grab, I'm so sorry. There we go. And you know what I forgot? <clears throat> Talking about my crappy memory. I knew I needed some more Mod Podge and I bought like 50 bucks worth of products that I need on, not products, but supplies, you know, on Amazon, just like some little stuff. Mod Podge was not one of them. <coughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some more Mod Podge, um, but I'm gonna try to be careful applying this. I'm probably gonna end up putting some vinyl stripes going down the side. Um, just to kind of help blend it a little better, but I'm more than likely not gonna show it on video because like I said, I really wanted to get a video posted today for you guys. But I will not be putting this one up for sale because it's gonna be going on um, trade days. If you guys don't know what Trade Days is, I used to go to it a lot, um, but this will be my first year being a vendor. Um, it's pretty much just, it's at a fairground, it's at a very large fairground, and um, people just have like a bunch of vendor booths set up, and you go around and you buy stuff, and there's like fair food and all that good stuff, so definitely come check it out. I've heard that people travel um, to go to these trade days so um, if you are not close to Lucasville trade days definitely come check it out I have to travel a little bit to get there but I've heard people travel like far so I'm just gonna sprinkle this passion glitter all over the cup which I have not used before so I'm like super pumped about it. Ooh. And um, in the moment here, I am deciding I am definitely gonna put some stripes on there after I do my um, first coat of epoxy and I'm not going to show it on today's video, but I will post it in my community um, page whenever it's finished completely. So you guys would just, will get to see that. Look how pretty that glitter is though. And I think it goes really good with the um, look up here. So you can see like some empty spaces there. I'm probably gonna take some rose gold vinyl and just do like very, very thin um, stripes to kind of cover that up. But of course you're gonna need a layer of epoxy first, maybe even two, um, just to make sure everything is good and smooth. And I'm just patting down some pieces that are sticking up there with my finger because I don't wanna do an unnecessary amount of sanding after epoxy to get that good and smooth. Super pretty glitter. I'm gonna have to incorporate that in some more um, tumblers. Like, that'll be a really good Valentine's Day um, a glitter collar to use. I'm so messy. <laughs> it's unreal. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then seal that glitter. All right, so clearly it looks a little messy because I do want to put those stripes on there. Um, but I wanted to show you guys because I'm really, I'm, I'm loving this right here. I'm trying to be super gentle with it so I look kind of awkward. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today on this water slide wrap glitter beach tumbler tutorial. I'll think of a better title before I post this. Um, but thank you all for watching and I will have the finished product on my community page in a few days when it is actually finished. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoyed that little hack that I showed you um, about pulling the back of the water slide off kind of like a tattoo tumbler, you know, using your hands to smooth everything out. Um, I feel like it really worked for me here. Um, so I hope you guys try it. I hope it works for you too. 
So that's it, y'all, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.